Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp coming to you from the camper again. Um, I have another birthday card for you today. This one would probably be for your little ballerina in your life or somebody that wants to be. So cute. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I have a piece of Lost Lagoon here and it is five and a half by eight and a half and it I already scored that at four and a quarter so we are going to get our bone folder here and score this or fold this and then give it a good crease with our bone folder all right then we are going to need a piece of the is this called Zoo Crew Designer Series paper and I am using the one with the flowers this time on this card um, I used the one with the polka dots but I didn't have any more of that left so I am using the one with the flowers this time the basic that sorry The basic black piece is four by five and a quarter. The piece of designer series paper is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we are going to adhere them together. This is my favorite piece of the designer series paper because everybody is camping or doing something related to camping. So of course that is my favorite piece. We are going to adhere these together and this just has a sixteenth of an inch border around the piece of or the two pieces of paper that I adhered together and then we can adhere these two together or on top of the card. This has got a lot of glue in it. I don't know if it's just sticking because it's hot out here or what. So this can go on the front of the card. All right. There is that. So you're also going to need a piece of Lost Lagoon that is one by four. That picked up here. You're also going to need two pieces of Lost Lagoon that measure, these are scraps, but um, they are about one and a quarter, looking for my, one and a quarter by about three and a quarter, and you'll need two of those, and you're going to cut two curtains, like this, all right, and then you're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that is three and a quarter by three and we're going to put the three and a quarter inch yes the three and the quarter inch like this so it's three this way and three and a quarter this way so we will go ahead and adhere that down right in the middle get it the correct way all right hopefully that is straight all right then we can take our curtains and those can be stuck down as well try not to put too much glue because they have little slits in them trying to get about right to the edge on the sides just like that put 
that one down. So it's the same right at the edge there. Try anyway. All right. I have cut the little um, leopard, I think it is. A leopard doesn't change its spots, right? So it's a leopard. Um, out of the designer series paper, there are several pieces that have dancing hippos and lambs and probably a meerkat, um, a deer, no, maybe an antelope. All right, so I have cut out the leopard and we do have the matching die for that. So that's going to go right here. I'm going to wait a minute because I'm going to um, cut out the top drapery or valance, I guess it is. Does anybody have valances anymore? I'm not for sure. A lot of things that I see, um, you just have the curtains. You don't even really have valances anymore. Do I have valances? I know I do in a camper. That's just because it's an old camper. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna take this and we are going to cut, put this right down at the bottom. And I'm trying to make sure that the scallops are on um, either side are the same, trying. So let's, And then we will cut that out. I should have probably put a little piece of tape on it to hold it. Because yes, now it's going crooked. Let's see if I have my washi tape right here. I do. I think I already put my other tape away. Alright. So I'm just going to take a little piece of washi tape. Because I don't want it to be a crooked balance. Tape that down. It is a little bit warped because we did use it in class the other day, so it got lots of use. But it'll lay back down flat. All right. Alright, get that out of the way for a second, and here is our little there we go. Make sure that it, with washi tape you have to be a little bit more careful because you don't want to um, rip your paper. So, there we go. With that green tape that I used, I get that from someplace online, scrapbook.com, I think it is. I don't think it's Simon Says Stamp. I think it's scrapbook.com. It's low, low tack. I put it away so I don't have it in front of me at the moment. Um, so then we're going to use some dimensionals. And we will adhere the valance with dimensionals. putting three on here. And then that is going to go right up at the top. It's trying to get it even on both sides. And I still think I got it a little bit crooked, but oh well. All right, now we're going to take a couple of dimensionals and put it on the back of our leopard. And 
and she's going to go right here. It looks like I got this a little low, but I'm going to leave it. This one's got a little less space at the top. This one's got a little more space at the top. So however you would like to do it. All right. Then I made these two tiny, teeny, tiny little, um, little bows. And I thought I had my dimensionals in here. I guess I do not. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of glue and put it right here on either side. And then I will tack these right here. These will take a minute more to dry, but they will still dry and it'll be fine. And this one on the other side, and I will cut the tails when they are dry. Alright, so now we can take a scrap piece of basic white and my memento. And I'm going to do the happy birthday to you. Did forget to bring. Oh, nope, I have some. I'll just have to cut it. Happy birthday to you. I have to cut a piece for the inside. All right. I think I'm going to restamp that. It looked like one side was darker than the other. And we'll use whichever one looks best. We will use that one. All right. So we are going to take the second to the smallest stylish circle from the stylish shapes, and we're going to cut that out. And I'll use just a tiny piece of washi tape, get some of the stick off of it. And try to center it a little bit. Bring in our mini. Sentiment. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. All right, so I'm going to take another dimensional and I'm going to put that. I want the sentiment over here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to take both pieces off. And I'm going to put this right here. And then that will go on top. That way I have it exactly where I want it. And I can also take a little bit of glue and put that right there. If I even got any on there. Nope, I didn't. Lift that up just a little bit, put a little bit of glue in there, just like that. All right, we'll see how good my scissors work here to cut my um, bows, tails. Now 
not very well, that's for sure. I need to get them sharpened. My goodness. This one's really bad. Just a second, I'm gonna bring it closer to me, I guess. Oh, that one really does not want to cut at all. Goodness. I have to see. I know I have other scissors here. I might have to, or I'm going to have to. I'm going to stop fiddling with it because then I'm going to get it too short and I'm going to have to do it again. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'll get another piece of scissors, a pair of scissors, and recut just the little part that's coming out there. All right, for the inside, you need a piece of the basic white that is four by five and a quarter. Did forget to cut that, so let me cut that really quick. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I can take another piece of the designer series paper here, the one with the flowers, if I can find it. Here it is. And I'm just going to cut off a half an inch. And it's longer than it needs to be, but that's okay. We will just... Make it work. So, let's see. I'm going to take this, and then I will take the sentiment. I didn't put one on the other one, but I think I'm going to put one on this one. The one that's something great to celebrate you. So, I'm going to put that on. off Move that out of the way so that I do not get black on myself. Okay, memento. Making sure I didn't do it upside down, but it wouldn't matter because I can just turn it around. All right, so there is that. And then we will take our seal here. And we'll put this piece right down at the bottom. off and then this can go on the inside of the card the envelope we are going to take another stamp and 
It was so funny. I just wet this thing and it's already dry. I'm going to clean this one real quick before I get it all over myself. This is one of our chamois, our Stampin' chamois. I just, I cut mine down to little pieces. All right, then I'm gonna take the little music notes and I'm just gonna stamp a few of those on the front of the card. around. We will add some glue. I've got another one of the designs from the paper. This one they're all doing some different things. Arts and crafts and cooking and some yoga. bit of fussy cutting on the edge. I know it took a minute for me to say that, didn't it? All right. When we're done here, I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'm going to take Hunter up to the pool. One of his most favorite things to do. Okay, so here's that one that I just made. Oh, I'm not done. We need to put some iridescent basic pearls on here. So, I have a large one up here. And a medium sized one right here. Or that kind of looks like a bigger one. Maybe there's just two sizes in here. Maybe this is medium, I'm not for sure. Okay, we'll put one right here and then we'll put one of these little teeny tiny ones. right over the flower. All right, so now we are complete. There's that one. Make sure I didn't forget anything. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.